Hi, I'm Streaky from streaky.com. Today I'm discussing mentors. So do you need a mentor or not for when you're writing music? I definitely think it's a massive plus. The reason most of my things that I say on this channel mainly have come from mentors that I've worked with, whether or not that, you know, in my time, I've not had YouTube, I've not had other outlets to be able to find out information and see where, you know, what to do and what not to do. I've had guys that I've worked with who have been in the business, you know, always been mastering, cutting vinyl since the 60s. So I've always followed them, listened to what they've got to say in the studio, check their settings out, had them telling me what I should be doing, what I shouldn't be doing, how to deal with people, how not to, watching them. And that's kind of just totally taught me, given me the experience so that, you know, I, I've used what they've known. I've gone to them when I've got had trouble. It's been a massive help to me to just be around these guys and have certain ones that I've just gone, okay, this I really like this guy. He knows what he's talking about. I'm going to follow him and t listen to what he's got to say and that sort of vibe. And leading on to that, I think it's really important for you to watch out. You know, I was very limited in the mentors that um, were teaching me and helping me and giving me advice and things. And that was lucky because... These days, I think on YouTube and things, then there's too many people to watch and there's too much false information out there. And I think it's very easy to go down a lot of cul-de-sacs where if you're following the right people and you're listening to the right advice, then you're going to go in the right direction. It's very easy to sort of get drawn into somebody's personality because they're good at talking to camera, but they might not actually have any experience. So I would do some detailed research on the people that you're following and the people that you like, just to make sure they do know what they're talking about. They've got the experience and the knowledge so that you can know what they're saying is the truth and not just sort of made up from what they've actually heard from somebody else making it up before them, because then it's just a load of made up stuff and no one's actually done anything in the real world. Um, and it's very easy just to throw videos up, even if you don't know anything these days. Ah, fly. So, ah, oh, got it. Damn, I had it. A fly's been in the room all day. It's driving me crazy. Anyway, so yeah, watch who you follow. I think that's super important. Don't just follow the first person. That goes with um, not just music. Yeah, so just watch out who you're following online. Make sure they know what they're talking about. Stick with just a few. Try not to go with too many people because there's just too many conflicting styles and, and personalities. You need to be getting on with stuff. You need to just have one style from one person and then you can then develop your yourself through that. I'm not exactly the same as the mentors that I had. I listen in a different way. I've got different, you know, experiences in my life to how I make things sound, but there's a lot of general rules that are correct in sound and audio and the way that you deal with mastering. So yeah, I hope that helps. Uh, find the right mentors. Watch who you're following. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe, ring the bell, and uh, give me any comments on this below. I'd love to know uh, what mentors you've had and what experience you've taken from that, because I always like to learn stuff too from uh, everyone who's watching and if you want me to ask for you then uh, there is a code below thanks for watching until next time bye